What's up everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here and welcome to another Bitcoin price analysis. We are going to have a look what is going on with Bitcoin right now because we are still trapped here between $60,000 and $61,000. Let's see in which direction that we are going to break out next because we are coming to the end of this month and unfortunately I don't have such good news for you guys. There is a big problem that is emerging in my opinion right now and this is what we are going to have a look at. So first of all, if you're new in this channel, make sure to be subscribed on this channel, leave a like, that is very much appreciated. Check out all exchanges that I'm using, with all of them you will get extra bonuses, especially here over on Bybit, XT Exchange and so on. I have everywhere tons of bonuses out there for you guys, so take advantage of it if you still need one more exchange where you can trade Bitcoin and altcoins, otherwise just stick with the best ones like Bybit or Femex, Maxi Global, and so on. Then you also find here the newest upcoming meme coins that you can buy before their listing um, on exchanges. So that's why check it out and also some other good chart and trading tools you will find here, crypto hardware wallets and so on. All right, so let's dive straight into the four hour time frame for Bitcoin because we are trapped here in the symmetrical triangle. We are forming here the support and resistance trend line and until we are going to break out to the upside or to the downside. And I told you guys that based on the immediate short term, based on the four hour and daily time frame, a potential bounce is most likely incoming. Right now we have here based on the four hour and three hour time frame, a very good entry point at around $60,900. If you want to enter into a long position, because if we switch over into the daily time frame, you can see that everything here is setting up for a nice bounce. We are currently getting supported by the $60,000 area. Yes, we had yesterday a close below 60K, which is not very promising at the moment. This is not good, but um, if today we're gonna close again above $60,000, then of course uh, here we could see a nice uh, bounce starting. If today we're gonna close below $60,000, then of course it is very, very likely that we will continue to fall lower to most likely retest, for example, the 200 daily moving average and over time even lower price levels. But here on the daily time frame, everything is setting up for a bounce. All indicators are now shifted again to the upside. We have everywhere bullish crosses. So in theory, we should see now a nice bounce. And that bounce, of course, it's going to be important that if we push towards 64K or 65K, that we are also able to break above the bearish retracement level because this is usually a potential um, bull trap or a dead cat bounce target if we are still in a downtrend that here we could get rejected, create a lower high com in comparison to the previous high and then of course fall to much lower levels. That's why this is something that we have to look at. If we're gonna start this uh, bounce in maybe the next coming hours or days, that is possible. But now I want to show you why I am so concerned right now. And this is basically here on the monthly time frame. So if you are a subscriber of this channel, you should know by now that every time we have a sell signal in overbought condition in the monthly, which is already confirmed, and everything is again shifted to the downside, the RSI, the momentum wave, the VWAP, the money flow, everything now is cooling off. This is like the first warning sign that something is wrong and most likely we are more closer to a potential local top or even cycle top than we think maybe. Then we have the stochastic RSI with a bearish cross. Once we were in complete overbought condition, we couldn't go much higher than that. Of course, we can go to infinite numbers in theory, but you can see that here at 100, we went completely flat before then we came back down. Then we also have here the confirmation indicator, which is about to cross bearish. So far, we don't have that bearish cross, but we are shifted to the downside. That means it's just a matter of a few months if we continue to trade like that until here, although we're gonna cross bearish, and this is usually an indication that the bear market uh, has started or at least a major correction. Then the other thing that could be happening this month, if we don't recover back above $65,000, currently we have the top side of the Kelton channels at 65K. If we close below 65K, we're gonna have again a monthly close within the Kelton channels. So below the top side of the Kelton channels. And this is very problematic guys, because I told you that every time we have seen that after a parabolic run up, because so far Bitcoin had a few months with monthly closes above the top side of the Kelton channels. This is what we see during raging bull runs. And we always stay above the top side of the Kelton channels until the top is in 
we have for the first time again monthly closes within the Keltner channels, so below the top side of the Keltner channels. Most of the times we are coming down to the median line and then bounce from it. And if we bounce and we got rejected again at the top side of the Keltner channels, then this is of course a, a sign that we are weak and most likely, or Bitcoin is weak and most likely uh, we're gonna crash down into a bear market or again down towards the median line of the Keltner channels like here. You can see that we had here a few months of support before then we had the big meltdown. Currently, or I will tell you that later on, we, let, let's quickly check what happened also in the previous bull run. Here also everything in overbought condition, sell signals everywhere, etc. You see that also here during the whole bull run of 2017, we always had the monthly closes above the top side of the Kelton channel. Sometimes we dipped below, but the closes remained above. And once we had the monthly close below the top side of the Kelton channels, we got rejected from it, as you can see also here. And finally, we came down to the median line of the Kelton channels. We get supported here before the final dump then. Here again rejection of course, so that's why the, the top side of the Kelton channels is very very important. Here also bull run closes above the top side of the Kelton channels. For the first time we had a close uh, below. You see that even here we had just a wick below, then we close above. Here again another close above, but then instead of pushing higher we had this monthly close below and the next month we came up to retest it and at the end yeah we crashed down to the median line until we closed below and then boom big crash down. This is always repeating all the time. And if this is going to happen again, so if we see now this month, which is going to close in uh, one day and 14 hours, if here we're going to close below the top side of the Kelton channels, currently at 65k, that's why this potentially upcoming bounce is so important, guys, because if that one will bring us back above 65k and push even higher, we can save the monthly time frame. But based on the monthly time frame, the local top is already in and we should be ready for a crash down at least to the median line of the Kelton channels. And if we then bounce from it and come back up and we get rejected at the top side of the Kelton channels, which could be that at that time, maybe at 75k or $80,000. It depends really how Bitcoin is going to trade in the next coming months. But, but if we then get rejected and we are not able anymore to have monthly closes above the top side of the Kelton channels, then we are in trouble. Currently, the median line of the Kelton channels is at $45,000. I will update this uh, moving average next month. So in uh, one day and 14 hours, of course, it will be slightly higher. But you see what happened in the past whenever we had again after uh, a bull run. Again, monthly closes within the Kalner channels. Of course, this time could be different. Everything is possible, but based on the history on, and based on the monthly time frame, we should be very, very cautious right now. And that's why, if this bounce that we are uh, potentially getting here, in the, based on the daily time frame, will take us back above at least 65k or even better, back above 66,500 dollars, so back above this price level then we have very good chances to see a continuation of this bull run. And I think that most likely, only in the month of July, we most likely uh, are getting a very, very hard time to trade because if the top side of the Kalten channels, currently at 65K, will go to $66,500, a bit higher, and we are going to see that bounce next month in July, Maybe we're just coming up to test the top set of the Kelton channels and if we get rejected there, maybe then in August, September, we're gonna see the waterfall down towards the median line of the Kelton channels. That is also possible. That's why I think time-wise and what we are getting currently based on the charts, in my opinion, most likely a bounce will be incoming. Maybe today, tomorrow, maybe at the beginning of July, it is possible then maybe come up to test the top set of the Kelton channels. If we break above and have monthly closes above $66,500, so let's say above the top set of the Kelton channels in the monthly, then I think we we're gonna see a continuation of our bull run. But if then we get rejected from it, that could be a potential bull trap and uh, afterwards we could get rejected and first see the next two, three months maybe a crash down towards the median line of the Kelton channels. We will see then where it's going to be, probably higher than uh, right now at 45k, maybe 47 or 49k, but um, overall, such a correction, in my opinion, is probably incoming before we're gonna see here new all-time highs for Bitcoin. This is a bit more the bearish uh, scenario that could be happening, and I started to be bearish 
because the monthly time frame is really looking a bit toppy and if we are also now starting to have monthly closes below the top side of the Kelvin channels there is not more evidence that than that that we are going to face first a more severe corrective phase in the next coming months and all kind of bounces will end up in a, in a dead cat bounce and, and failed rallies so we shouldn't expect the new all-time highs just lower highs uh, and so on that's why it is concerning the only reason actually that i'm seeing right now why we shouldn't drop lower is just because we just had the bitcoin halving normally after the bitcoin halving we rally to to the cycle top of this bull run and to new all and also the pi cycle indicator is not flashing at all any kind of uh, uh toppy signals that's why those are currently the only indicators that are suggesting that the cycle top is by far not in but uh, based on all other indicators and especially in the monthly time frame it is screaming for a big crash at some point the question is only if first we're getting a rally and that rally of course again will be decisive if we're going to continue the bull run or not so that's it for the update on bitcoin guys uh, and uh, yeah i know it's not overwhelming but it is how it is and we have to be ready for both scenario be happy if we crash down to buy more bitcoin and also be ready if we're gonna skyrocket from here on if that bounce will take us towards new all-time highs if it happens then of course you also should have already enough bitcoin accumulated and also if you want to buy some new altcoins and meme coins that are coming out in the next coming days weeks and months during this bull run we have here pepe unchained for example which is going completely viral right now although the staking rewards are dropping every day a lot here this one is just famous and getting hyped because of the name Pepe in it, of course. We also have the Cat AI, which is great. Here also you can buy and stake a lot of those tokens. It is always good if you're buying those tokens to buy them on the official websites. The links are here in the video description. And go and buy it and put it on staking if you see that the staking rewards are very high. Because then once they are launching, you can immediately take the stake, the rewards and um, take profits with the first initial pump that usually those uh, coins are getting. Because if you are staking with the purchase, the balance, uh, this uh, will get into a lockup period since you're staking of at least seven days. That's why it is always good to be early, to buy them early and stake it because like that you will get a lot of staking rewards uh, that immediately you can then use once they're launching. Also Bitdoge is um, a fresh new meme coin that just came out so check them out guys. There is a list here with different new meme coins that are about to come out. I selected personally here the Pepe Unchained, Cat AI, Play Doge, Winner AI and Bitdoge as well. Because you never know, suddenly they're coming out and you hear that that coin is going like 10,000x and uh, maybe you're lucky to have it already. So that's why it is good to diversify also into some of those high risk uh, meme coins as well. So that's it for now guys. I'm waiting here a bit on the sideline. Maybe I'm going to open up a, a little a long position. We will see uh, what happens. It is very risky right now in my opinion to trade with leverage. Uh, I would just DCA or buy on spot. But as I told you guys, um, yeah. Be ready for both scenarios because based on the monthly time frame, most likely at the end we're gonna come down again before eventually we go towards the the bull cycle top of this uh, bull run. It probably it's gonna take much longer than expected, but a bounce short term most likely is coming up in latest in the month of July, I think. Then we're gonna see if we can break again the top side of the Celtic channels in the monthly time frame. That's it for now, guys. Have a great weekend. Uh, let me know if you're watching the soccer game tonight, Italy versus Switzerland. Let me know that in the comment section. Uh, I definitely gonna watch it. So thank you for watching, and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye for now.